It's pop. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Be a part of the notification. Yeah. Last day for my basics, so shout out to all my basics. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this week a basic meal. So, finish this last basic day off, pizza. Let me ask you guys this, New York style pizza or Italian style pizza from Naples? Which one do you pick? I never had a New York style pizza, but I have had a authentic <laughs> margarita pizza. Let me show you how I make my margarita pizza. Let me try to make it as authentic as I can. Don't blink. Start off like this, two cups of warm water going in, quick rise, active dry yeast, which I'm just gonna throw in one tablespoon of. I'm gonna give that a good mix. To feed this beautiful yeast, we got sugar, guys. Sugar in my creatine bottle or container. So one tablespoon of it. So if you guys look closely, this is when the yeast starts activating. So slowly, it'll start foaming up. Once it fully foams up around the surface, yeast activated, three cups of flour. Take your beautiful clean hand and get into it, guys. All we're looking for, come on guys, we all know this, is a nice soft dough. Always look for a nice soft dough when you're making pizza. Once you got your dough nice and smooth, guys, don't try this at home. Check this out, I'm gonna do it right into the bowl. Take your hand, we're gonna karate chop this into four. So one, two, three, four. Another successful chop, guys. <laughs> so once you got that nice into four, all we're gonna do, clean the surface. Nah, we don't have to clean the surface. All we're doing is pretty much tucking the dough and just making the dough a little smoother. So once you got it into a nice ball like this, we're just gonna put it over. To our baking sheet with some wax paper, I'm gonna drizzle one teaspoon of olive oil on top of each other, just because I don't want these to dry out. I'm gonna throw it into a warm area, so I have my oven on a warm right now. I'm gonna let this proof for one hour, guys. Next, guys, our tomato sauce. So I know I don't have the best tomato sauce, but I truly believe and love great value. <laughs> so I'm gonna do two cans of this puree in. I know for a fact that this tomato is not as sweet as high quality tomatoes. It's more tart than sweet. So to help this sweeten it up, I'm just gonna do one tablespoon of sugar going in. Also, I got some tomato puree here, which I'm just gonna add in one tablespoon just to enhance this good tomato sauce. Next, I got some fresh mozzarella cheese here, which I'm just gonna thinly slice down. If you guys know where, or if you guys are from Edmonton here, and if you guys know where to find buffalo mozzarella cheese, please lead me the way. I've checked Savon's, Sobeys, and they do not have it. Maybe I should check the Italian center. Yeah, maybe I should check there. But if you guys know where to find buffalo mozzarella cheese and if you're from Empton, please lead me the way, guys. One hour's up. All we're gonna do, I kind of flattened this accidentally. So once it proof, flour, got our dough here, which I'm just gonna press out. I heard traditionally, Italian pizza is not rolled out, it is stretched out. So all we're gonna do, stretch this dough out. So, I'm gonna just press it all around. I'm gonna start stretching it. So quarter turn, stretch, quarter turn, stretch. And I'm gonna keep doing this until it fits my baking sheet. I do not have a traditional wood oven or cement oven oven. So I got this to do the trick. Well, hopefully it does the trick, right? <laughs> Once I got my desired liking, I'm just gonna throw it onto my pizza pan. I'm gonna stretch this out until it fits it nicely. It's not your perfect stretched pizza dough, but you know what? It'll do, guys. Tomato sauce, just one ladle of it. I'm just gonna spread it out. Once I got that nice and spread out, I'm gonna throw on my fresh mozzarella cheese. Just all around, guys. Doesn't have to be perfect. Fresh basil. I'll shoot this up with some olive oil. A little salt. And into the oven, guys. This has been in for about three minutes, guys. I think I'm gonna take it out around five to six minutes. Five to six minutes up, guys. I just popped it out. I'm gonna take my pizza board. Some of you guys asked where my pizza board is. It's nowhere, guys. It's just been here. 
it has a crack on it. I'm pretty sad just because it has been with me for a while now. So my last piece of dough here, which I'm just gonna pop into the oven as well. For this one, I'm gonna do one big heaping scoop of it. Mozzarella cheese. Fresh basil. Into oven at 450 for five to six minutes, guys. Last margarita pizza coming out. I'm not sure if this is tradition or not, guys, but I'm gonna do this. Take my parmesan, get that cheese dandruff on there. <laughs> you gotta love cheese dandruff, guys, or what Italians call it, parmesan. <laughs> my Italians. Do I get a pass or no? Come on guys. We're gonna slide one off. Got my pizza cutter here. I'm just gonna cut. I gotta get a new pizza knife guys or pizza roller. I'm gonna cut this. <laughs> All right, cut this one. So confused on how to cut this. Should I cut it down this way? Maybe because my circle is not that circle. Yeah, I'll just cut it down this way. Oh, let's do this, guys. Classic margarita pizza. I'm so pumped for this. Oh, guys, look at this slice. The back, I'll say it needs a little more crusting, but I'll say it's all good, guys. Look how thin it is, though. Quick time. Take the first bite of this. Yes, got it. Nice. Oh, it's so thin. A pump. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This right here. It's the most simplest, most delicious pizza you guys will ever make. I promise you. Mmm. Even though it's little, or even though it's not that crusted in the back, it's still so tasty. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I don't think Italians do eat this with, or they do pick it up and eat it. I don't know. I've seen a lot of fork and knife action. <laughs> that mozzarella cheese is top notch. Even though it's not buffalo mozzarella cheese, it's so bombs and creamy. Mm hmm. Just look at that crust. Then airy look at that mm. the first time I ever had the margarita pizza I think I was in grade six and I thought it was the most plainest pizza ever Mmm. Before I bit into it. That's when I found my love 
for Margarita Pito. <laughs> traditionally in America, yeah, traditionally in America, you see all this topping that goes on to pizza. What one Italian told me, it's not all about the toppings or the quantity. Mmm. It's all about the quality. Some of you guys might look at me like, Juan, you just bust open a bunch of great value products. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. What's wrong with great value? <laughs> this pizza is top notch. For people that have not tried a nice margarita pizza ever, basic like this, you guys must go out and try it. It's so simple, but the quality of stuff that you use on this margarita pizza, it's just amazing. Wow. Just one more small slice, guys. Last bite. Quick tab. Yes, got it. Nice. I got that folding technique like, what is that? In New York? Will you guys pass this for a New York style pizza? Or I meant the crust wise? Here's the thing too. Italians will argue about American having their style of pizza and American will argue with Americans about their style of pizza So who wins in this argue? Mmm <laughs> That's a good slice of pizza right here Mm-hmm. So basic and good. Mm. Some may argue that I added too much olive oil when I was proofing it, but it actually helps this dough here. It gives us this Nice flaky texture to it. So, Bob's. <laughs> Food and life is such a beautiful thing, don't you think? Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your palm shirts. Like this, share this. Peace out.